it's, it's important to keep the two principles distinct. We have whistleblower protections for military personnel, for civilian personnel. You'd be surprised at how readily um, when someone wants to bring something to the attention of a member of Congress or a senior official, uh, we say, oh, he's a whistleblower, uh, hands off. <clears throat> that is distinct from, and this is not a comment on any particular case in military justice right now, but that is distinct from making a decision by yourself to, um, without authorization, disclose to the public something that is properly classified by our government. We cannot have a situation where people take it upon themselves to make public classified information. And we can't have a situation where somebody takes it upon themselves to say, you know, that's really not that important. That is really not that sensitive. I know it says classified on the document, but I'm going to make it public anyway because I think the public needs to know. Uh, there are officials in our government called classification authorities that make those determinations, who are best suited to make those determinations. And so when we find ourselves in a situation where um, somebody, for whatever reason, has made an inappropriate, unauthorized disclosure of classified information, and um, uh, we, we just have to deal with that situation. Otherwise, you have anarchy. And um, so the WikiLeaks situation uh, presented interesting, an interesting situation for us. Um, on my, my computer, I have, I have a classified computer and I have an unclassified computer. And I have a top secret classified computer, a secret classified computer, and an unclass. So when WikiLeaks went public with all that classified stuff, um, if somebody on the outside, if you had sent me uh, a New York Times story or another newspaper story about the documents that WikiLeaks had, <coughs> had given to the newspaper and made public, and you said, hey, Jay, what do you think about this story? And the story had links to the classified documents. Um, you could click on that document, open it up, look at it, because it had been made public through unauthorized means. Now, if you had sent it to me on my computer, my unclass computer, and I had done the exact same thing and opened up that classified document, poof, huge security violation. Somebody from our security office would have to come in, trash my computer, sanitize it, and every other person who's talked to my computer. And so it, it presents interesting challenges for us. And so you take the logical extension of that. Does that mean that if I have today's copy of the New York Times, which has unauthorized classified information in it, and I bring it into my office in an unclassified portion of my office, uh, must somebody, my military assistant, confiscate that copy or the copy of Bob Woodward's book on my shelf? Uh, not necessarily, so we have to find a way to draw the line, but um, so my, look, my basic point is that someone who takes it upon themselves to, to leak classified information, uh, whether that person is an army private or a very senior member of our government, and we have problems there too, um, is not a whistleblower. Uh, a whistleblower is somebody who, who believes it necessary to bring, uh, you know, uh, unclassified information to the attention of somebody like me, as the senior legal officer of the Department of Defense, or a member of Congress. Um, and I suppose through proper channels, you could be a whistleblower about classified information as long as the person who is receiving the whistleblowing is authorized to receive that classified information. And you know that has happened sometime as well. And I, I, in the last four years, I think I've actually been a recipient of what somebody thought was speaking out about something that our Department of Defense was doing inappropriately, jumping over about six different levels in the chain of command to come directly to the senior legal officer of the Department of Defense. And that's, that's very often a healthy thing. That's very often a good thing. Um, and I know our administration is, is um, 
places a lot of priority on, on ensuring that there are whistleblower protections in place. Thank you.